Seattle. You may or may not have heard their music. Up next, we find out why city officials pulled the plug on Pearl Jam's free Gasworks Park concert set for this weekend. All day at Seattle City Hall, angry calls from fans of the nationally known Seattle band Pearl Jam. They're upset and they blame the city for mishandling the plans of the band's now canceled free concert at Gasworks Park. King 5's Mona Lee talked with the band today and joins us now live from Gasworks. Mona? Gene and Mike, Pearl Jam is a Seattle-based group, rock group, that's quickly gaining in popularity. So much so is that a free concert they plan to give here over the weekend has been canceled in its 11th hour because city officials feared it would draw too many people. The, the idea was to get kids to vote and so everybody would be kind of working together for a common purpose, not really to get out of control or anything. So to plan my weekend around and then have it canceled, you know, it's kind of just kind of lame, you know what I'm saying? In its year and a half of existence, the rock group Pearl Jam has gelled a tremendous following. Their only album went gold in four months, platinum in six. They've starred on Saturday Night Live and toured the nation and Europe several times already. Two months ago, they planned a concert for their hometown of Seattle. We wanted to make it kind of special. Um, you're, you're touring for a long time, you start thinking about your home, you kind of think about it probably in more romantic terms than you ordinarily would because you miss the place, you know. Well, we've been getting calls from all over. That was one of the, also the concerns because the initial agreement was that there was not to be any pre-advertising which would help us hold it down to somewhere around five or 7,000. But this week, with estimates that between 20 to 40,000 people might turn out to rock with Pearl Jam, the whole event was scrapped. There just wasn't the person power around to be able to help that come off in a way that we felt that we could help the audience be safe, the, the community be safe, and that everybody would have a, a good time. There was nobody stood up for this to, to, to enable this to happen. Nobody, nobody took a, the slightest bit of a chance, even though all the angles were covered. There, there was no, we were assuming all the liability. Members of the group say they've spent more than $10,000 in the planning, which includes a blueprint of fencing to be built, extra security guard locations, and even the setup of voter registration booths to promote a worthy cause. Now they're feeling slighted. It's the kind of thing that the city would have accommodated the situation, um, I think, a lot better if it hadn't been um, a rock band, especially a hard rock band. Bands like Gardner, Rudy McCoy say after an extra hard work week, he was looking forward to a getaway. I was looking at it real positively because I was able to realize that I had a concert, an outdoor concert that I was going to be going to on Saturday and, <clears throat> and just forget about the, uh, the negatives and look at something positive. Pearl Jam members say they do want to give a free concert at some point, perhaps move it to a nearby location and um, that will, but that will take some time because they are leaving on Wednesday for their London tour and they won't be back until September. I'm Mona Lee at the Gasworks Park in Seattle reporting.